this is Matto, and uh, this is what I've been working on. Yep, I, uh, I took a bit of a hiatus because I was upgrading my system. As you may note, it is not crappy quality anymore. My videos aren't crappy quality uh, that much. Yeah, anyway, uh, this is what I'm going to be going all about. This here is a kiln. It's uh, from Better Than Wolves, uh, the, the mod. If you don't know what Better Than Wolves are, uh, Wolves is, you perhaps... Uh, should get out there and check it out a little bit. It's it's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's uh, it has a lot of stuff like mechanical power instead of just redstone. This here is what causes that. One of the things. This is a water wheel. Yeah. There's also windmills and uh, hand cranks that you can use to do that. But it's much better to make it automated because it's more fun. Anyway, this is uh, what I'm going on about. Yeah. Uh, what you do with this? is you take, I don't have anything in there right now, you take pottery of various kinds and you put it in there while the bellows is going. Yeah. <coughs> this is uh, this video, by the way, is kind of an extension of the rapid pulser bit that I did. Uh, I didn't really cover everything that I should have in that video and I'm going to be going on about it today because it kind of fits. So, this is what I'm showing you. Bellows. Yeah. Exciting. Ooh. Cooking the pottery. Or, or firing the pottery. Oops. Yeah, look, it's crucible. Yep. Anyway. Yeah. And when it's it. Okay. Well, that is what I'm going to be uh, demonstrating. Or not really demonstrating. We'll show you how to build. Or at least show you what you need to do in order to build. I'm not show you how. Um, but in there is hibachis, you know, you, you need those in order to stoke the fire because anything else blows out. But you try to st uh, stoke with the bellows, blows out. Um, yeah, so hibachis are important. I'm not showing you hibachis, I'm showing you the making the bellows go up and down by themselves. Blah, 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 blah. And where we start is over here. This right here. This over here. See this? That is where this, uh, what's coming from the switch that I just flipped up there. And it goes this way. Um, here. What that does is transmits power over here, which will go through this block, and into that. You might see that. That's the first step. Another step is it turns off the redstone torch that's right here. This redstone torch is uh, powering these, which is powering the piston, as you may see right there. What does this do? Whenever this turns off, this will uh, go away and then retract that piston and stop power from being transmitted through the block uh, at this interval right here. This is the timer, pretty much. So it times how much of a charge is going to be going into the uh, machiney over there. And uh, yeah. So this also, third step here, is it sends a charge over here. Extended. Blam, blam, blam. And it comes over here and it pushes forth this piston. Yes, epic talk. Pushes forth. Well, anyway. It pushes it forth and it completes the circuit. So it happens, and it goes through here, see, it comes over here, only uh, sends a charge up to about this point on the, uh, the what is it called, a clock, yeah. Anyway, it, it, it only sends a charge up to here, and by then this is already up here, so it completes the circuit and can go around and around and around and around. And this, going in here, whenever this is powered, it will power this. Whenever this is powered, the gearbox, by the way, in case you don't have better than wolves and don't know what it is, Whenever it powers that, it will um, disengage the uh, gears, supposedly, or it just uh, switches to disengaged. Just assume that's what it happens. And it will um, cause that to go up. Then whenever it's re-engaged by this turning off, it will cause it to go down. Ta-da! That's pretty much what will happen. And if it does in the right timing, which is what this does, then you have it going up and down repeatedly. Over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and this is the result. Yeah, totally epic. Yeah. All right. Well, whenever it's working, I'll show you that. See, that's all spent. This is retracted. Yeah. And now, only three of them are lit at once. Ta-da! That's... Uh, 
up. Engaged. Disengaged. Engaged. Disengaged. See? Yeah. So that, that's pretty much how that thing works. And this is the pit bit right here for the Rapid Pulsar. That's why I'm saying uh, Rapid Pulsar Extended. Um, if you were to take out these here and replace these two here with just redstone wire and then set them on the uh, the shortest timing, that's one of those rapid pulsers that I was showing about in my other video. And then uh, I got a comment saying, how do you turn it off? This is how you turn it off and on with a switch right here. The piston goes forward, completes the circuit, comes back, yeah. If you attach that to the starter that I showed, then... You have to have a switch with that because there's a push button starter. Then uh, you you would have to engage this every single time and then push the button, but it would be a kill switch. So you could switch it off and then it would kill whatever was going on. Yeah. So that is uh, what's going on underneath the hood here. Yep. Yeah. And one more thing, um, the kiln. Uh, important if you're going to build one. Have these four blocks have to be full on brick blocks. I'm actually I'm not sure about this one here. But I tested having these ones be stairs or something else. It does not work. But this one could be a stone slab. I'm not sure if this one could be stairs either. That might be decorative. Maybe I should try it. Ooh. Anyway, so that is my video this time. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, what did we cover today? Let's see. We covered, um, well, the timer thing. Yeah. Kilns. Kilns. Covered kilns. Uh, bellows. Better than Wolves mod. Yeah, the rapid pulser uh, thing that I left out in the last video. Actually applied it this time, so that works. So, I guess that's it. Just remember, uh, have fun. Snow is falling and raining. It's weird. Right, see you next fall.